Would you give the callers and I the honour of staying with us to give me give us some uh, tag team readings with me while we finish up the show? Sure, no problem. That would be absolutely sensational. So we're heading off now to speak to Andrea in San Bernard, Bernardino, California. Hi, Andrea. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm great, thank you. I um, hope you don't mind, but our special guest Simon Turnbull would also like to help with the reading. How, what's your special question, please? Um, I would just like to have a reading. Um, anything you can think of, I guess. I didn't have a question, really. Just wondering, maybe... As far as my career, how about that? Simon, what do you pick up on? Well, um, it, it, one of the statements I can see here is that she's, um, you know, she's where she wants to make a commitment in a particular career direction, but perhaps is a little bit, uh, um, she's gone through recently a really rough trot trying to get that to happen. Um, the, the victory that she wants, especially any, any area to do with, uh, uh, combination of law and uh, health um, uh, will work out for her. And I can certainly see that uh, she's going to be much happier if she follows that. But she's got to make the commitment. She's somehow held back from making the commitment that she needs. Um, how many more minutes do you want me to go? Oh, just till you're ready. Uh, we do have one other caller coming up. But uh, let, let Andrea have her a little bit of time. Um, what else do you see for her? Well, um, a lot, there's, a, there's going to be a discussion towards the end of uh, December, early January. There's a new person coming into her life who's going to help her with making some plans, some definite plans. But she's got to, the, the, the key issue up to now is the fact that she needs to make a commitment. And also on the emotional level where I can see there's sort of a difficulty in reaching agreements that she wants, um, that's going to sort itself out uh, at the end of December, early January. So it's kind of a lot happening I can see her ending one cycle and starting a new one, but she's got to wait for those plans to ripen by the end of February. So February is the key month overall. February. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, I can also see that there's a little bit of travel for you coming up in 2012, and I can see you around islands in the sun. So I uh, don't know uh, if there's any islands off of California, but I can certainly see islands in the sun for you. So I hope that advice helps. Uh, it's time to, for us to move on. Thanks very much, Andrea. Uh, it's time to speak to Dee in British Columbia, Canada. Hi, Dee. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm awesome. What's your question for us? Thank you. Um, first, I wanted to validate a prediction you gave me last month. Um, uh -huh. you, you, I asked you um, about a court I filed for a court hearing, and I asked when it was going to be presented in front of the judges, and you said soon, and it happened in two weeks. So awesome. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know. Um, my question is, I started a new job. I'm just wondering if you could tell me how long it was going to last. I'm hoping a year at least. Okay, Simon, so, mean, what do you get about her new job? Well, it's talking here about some area. There's two areas that come up. One is related to the premises that she might be working in, whether that's related to education or the government. But either way, it shows that she's going to organize her situation again by the end of December. That looked fairly positive. But her key month is also around the, the February-March period in her case, so she's got to be patient. At the moment, she's doing the best she can. She, you know, she's got to... It, it's, really, it's really not up to her. It's up to other parties meeting her halfway. So, but from a career perspective... And especially in relation um, to uh, the question of her being wanting to maintain a sense of caution, I can see her working things out career-wise pretty well. The second half of this of next year is when um, that's going to fall into place more strongly for her. So, um, and because I can see a partnership issue also playing a role, and this is partly in relation. This could be relation to her part, her own partnership, that shows that. Um, the, the key month in, in the second half of the year is around July, August. So um, all she needs to do now is focus on what can go right rather than what can go wrong in order because she's got a very strong sense of visualization and uh, it, what, she, what she focuses on in her mind usually happens. So if she focuses on the good stuff, then the good stuff will happen. If she, if she focuses on what can go wrong, then um, you, know, you can create the negative things to happen. Do you understand? Uh, yes. 
Good. But there is a new job, Thank either you. this job you're already doing or something brand yeah. new around uh, June. So you're going to have to be patient and wait. If, no matter what's, sure. what's happening to you now, um, that there's something much more solid for you in June next year. I was Money getting back. something similar. Yeah, money-back yeah. guarantee. Yeah, I tend to agree with Simon there. I think that there is something um, bigger and better coming for you next year. And I was getting like a rollover into a promotion. So I, I tend to agree with Simon on that one. I think that you're going to do well um, come the second half of next year. And also, I, I also agree that um, you have a very powerful mind and very, very strong ability to manifest. So keep your head positive, D. And thank you very much for calling in. Okay, thank you, Kat. Thank you, Simon. Welcome. And it's time to move on now to Janine in Pennsylvania. Hi, Janine. How can we help you? Hi. Is this Kat? Yeah. Oh, hi. I haven't met you. How are you? <laughs> I'm awesome, thanks. How are you? I'm okay. I mean, I've called the show a few times, but you're one of the people there that I haven't spoken with yet. Hi. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, there's a few of the ra few radio hosts here on A1R Network. That's because mm -hmm. we're the home of the best psychics in the world. So yeah, yeah. What, can, <laughs> what can we do for you today? Well, um, if you and Simon are able to, or Simon, are able to look at the situation that's going on between my husband and I, uh, I would appreciate that. Okay. Simon, what do you get there? Well, um, this particular lady, I can see she's handling a situation on her own, and in some ways she's quite happy with that. Um, mm -hmm. But, <laughs> well, you know, you're better off on your own, it says, basically. Um, now, that means that you need to deal with the issue of being on your own. I don't mean lonely, by the way. I mean just focusing on your own space, doing your own thing. Now, I can see that there's a, a mental health issue around this. I know you haven't said anything to me, but I can see that there is a mental health issue, a lot of stress. Now that stress is going to be resolved, but it, you need to wait till next year around, again, early next year in your case. The best thing to do with this particular uh, issue is wow. going to be resolved by the end of January. So January is probably the best month for you to make progress. Now, um, the other thing I can see around your husband is it's, yeah, and it's he talking has bipolar. About, when you said mental health issue, I was like, wow, yeah, oh, he does. Yeah. There you go. So um, now it's because it says that this mental health issue is uh, not untreatable, but obviously, you know, bipolar condition is, uh, is really about adjustment and finding the right medication. Of course, I'm not a doctor and I can't give medical advice, mm -hmm. but that's, uh, you know, that's the reason why this mental health issue can't be resolved. Um, it, you are not responsible. Do you understand? So Thank obviously you saying you that. I know, I know. <laughs> So you've got to um, uh, not put it on yourself. You really need some space for yourself, and uh, that's going to happen. But it's going to take you until the end of next year to really sort out the best way of doing that so that, you, so that everyone can be happy. Well, it's been a year that he's been half in and half out with, with our marriage oh. because he's just he had a bad, uh, let's call it an episode, last October, which in November he moved out, and now he's like, he comes and he goes, and he comes and he goes, and he's been getting into trouble and having a lot of issues, and lately he's coming around more, which feels yeah. good, and he's being more affectionate and seems in a better place, and yeah. I'm, I was hoping that that would be like continuing, you know, and that, okay, maybe he's going to be home now, because every time he comes, I think he's going to stay, and then he goes again. Yeah, well, this is something you've got to... It's saying, you know, when I say spending time on your own, I don't mean abandoning him or the relationship, no, no, but, but you cannot be held responsible Thank um, you. For, the, for, for that. You know what I mean? So it's I up Well, to I him. tried to help, you know. Of course. And uh, it's up to him now not to earn the right to be with you, but to get into the place where he can be with you. And mm. that's the thing that's going to take till the end of next year to sort out. Oh, now, okay. it you've done everything you can. It's really um, sad to say it's really up to him to meet you halfway. Now, bipolar, uh -huh. the, good thing, the good thing about bipolar people is that they do have a balanced period in their monthly cycle. Sometimes it's a monthly, sometimes it's a tri-cycle, three-monthly uh -huh. cycle. So, uh -huh. you know, they, you know they, they, that's why they're bipolar. They go from one end of the extreme to the other. But there is a, meet, a, 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 a balance point, and it's at that balance point that... Um, you know, he needs to uh, acknowledge his, his, the fact that you're, you know, having to put up with this. And, right. uh, 
and well, this he is knows. something. He thinks he's doing me a favor, staying away. Well, he he is when he's when he's going because you really need some space. It says so here. So wow. uh, you know you, you've done the best you can under the current conditions. So let him sort of come to you. That's the best way to deal with it. Don't try to fix it for him in any way. I'm not. I'm not. Yep. Good. Okay, Janine, I'm sorry to cut you off there, but uh, you can always connect with Simon for a full reading um, after the show. We do have to move on to Nathaniel in Orange County, California. Hi, Nathaniel. Just uh, We have only five minutes left in the show, so can you make it a very quick question? Thank you. Yes, I wonder if you see a move or a new job or something. I don't know uh, uh, what month or what kind of job it might be or something like that. I'm kind of looking. See something. Okay. Uh, what, do you, what do you get there from Nathaniel, Simon? Well, for Nathaniel, I can see that um, probably the best thing, uh, he's been looked at, I can see t- recent travel being looked at and travel being a part of the process. And I really feel that that's going to work out the best for him. At the moment, um, the timing, um, he's not going to suffer loss. In other words, or Nathan, you're not going to suffer loss. The thing really, though, is that you need to be patient for a little while longer. Your financial picture is going to be much, much stronger over the next three years. But next year, around the, the March period, issues to do with banks, financial institutions are going to stabilize. And no matter how you might be concerned in relation to your financial p- position, you're not going to suffer major loss. Do you understand? Okay. So awesome. um, at, at, at the moment, it's really about you... Uh, hanging in there um, uh, for the kind of support perhaps you need to make the change. And that's around the February-March period next year. Okay, Nathaniel, thanks for calling in. That's all we have time for. Um, Sorry that we can't get any more. If you want to connect with Simon, make sure that you go to www.simonturnbull.com to book in for a private session with him. As you can tell, he's a brilliant reader and I would highly recommend him to anyone. Thank you so much for joining us here on the Spiritual Workshop, Simon Turnbull. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much for having me, Kat.